Yo, good morning, happy people. I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I want to take you on the trip of a lifetime. We just got back from Guyana in South America, and we went on the most amazing bow fishing expedition you can ever imagine. Nobody has ever taken a bow fishing bow and gone deeper into the jungle than we just did. We started off in Miami, Florida, and we jumped on a plane heading to Georgetown, Guyana. From there, we went to a little hotel called the Cara Lodge. How you fit in? How do I do my fit in? Do I, do my I, fit fit in? I can fit right here. And the following morning, we got to explore the local market, saw some of the most amazing fruit, met some of the most amazing people, and had an amazing time. It's hot. Keep children and small animals away. <laughs> After the market, we jumped on a little plane and flew out to the largest single drop waterfall in the entire world, Kaitor Falls. After spending some time checking out Kaitor, we were heading back to the plane and we spotted the most beautiful bird in the world, the Guyanan Cock of the Rock. And just like that, we jumped back on our plane and headed to Apatari. This is just a tiny little grass runway, but it was so cute because we saw two little kids playing with their kites, just having the time of their lives. Now it's time to jump on the boats, head up the Rupununi River, take a left on the Rewa, and now we're at the Rewa Eco Lodge. That's our initial base camp. Once we got to Rewa Eco Lodge, we got settled in and got ready to do some fishing. Unfortunately, I decided to go for a walk and jam a hook in my hip. That's not good. Dang gonna be stupid you better be tough mission number one was to find an aeropima and catch it on the fly Rovin our head guide is an absolute wizard when it comes to aeropima he knows everything aeropima and he's developed a technique to build a fly that looks exactly like a peacock bass well it didn't take long and we caught the fish of a lifetime a giant aeropima after a day we started our trek up the Rewa River, heading to the headwaters. So after three days of traveling on the Rewa River, we reached Corona Falls, and I thought that was the end of the road. I thought that's where we were gonna stop. Corona Falls is right there. There's, you can't go farther in the boat unless you drag the boat up and over the mountain and into the next part of the river, which we're gonna do. The entire team, they got together and built an amazing camp. And I mean, they can build a camp faster than you can blink an eye. Hammock, bug net, then they use a stick to keep the bug net up like that. What do you think about setting up camp? I can't believe how much they do and how fast they do it. No one has to tell anyone what to do. It's just like getting it done. It would be great for someone to come on this trip and not, they don't even have to fish. You could just come learn. If, dude, I would bring, if, my, if I had enough employees, I'd bring my employees just to watch these guys. Like survivalists. No, it's, it's more than that. It's about communications. It's about, teamwork it's about just getting stuff done you're right you're absolutely right about that like i mean you don't hear him saying anything no one's mad no one's worried about if they're doing more work i'm not exactly work. happy that you've caught more than more catfish than me today i mean i wouldn't say i'm mad but i'm not happy i'm surprised I'm not, you admitted that out i'm not happy about it <laughs> <laughs> So the first day, after pulling the boats up and over Corona Falls, we went out, we caught Haimara, a big catfish. We had a great time. Then we got a really good night's sleep. See you soon, ladies. This is our final day here on this incredible expedition in the Guyana. But today, we've got the bow. This is my Bear Kodiak Magnum Recurve. I went up to Gainesville to the Bear Factory and watched this bow get made from the ground up. When you look at stuff, a lot of times you think, oh, that's probably just made in a factory somewhere by a machine, not this bow. 
This boat's made by hand, by skilled craftsmen. I'm really honored to get to go out here and use it today. Talk about amazing. Check this out, y'all. Even the boys who got their phone filming. This is as far as you can go right here. I mean, I guess you could go farther, but um, you probably need a helicopter. So right now we're looking for Paku, which is like a piranha that's a vegetarian, but it's their favorite fish to eat around here. So I want to be really careful not break my leg. Anytime they tell you to be careful, that, that's really important to be careful. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. He's right, right where it comes up and you can see his whole head come out of the water. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> Woo! Dude, how cool is that? Say. When you're walking on these rocks, you never want to walk with a loaded bow. Last thing you want is to trip and fall and have to go through you. It'd be safer to throw the bow than to hurt yourself. And that's your tech tip of the week by Austin Crockerton, brought to you from Bamboo Falls right here in Guyana. When I shot, something immediately cut the line right there in the water. I had to just go after it, or I was going to lose it. Look at that fish. Woo! Can that probably wasn't... Like, can you scream like that one more time? Woo! <laughs> that probably wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. Look how far down that is. I'm not making any promises here, y'all but I'm about to give her a whirl. That was strike one. Came out, went up that way.
And if you were to ask anyone where this is, nobody would even know that this exists. But we had the opportunity to come out here and bow fish for wild Paku. Such a blessing to be here. To God be the glory. So here in Guyana, one of my favorite foods is called salt fish and bake. It's where they take a fish, they salt it, and then they make a, like a, they call it a bake. And I'm gonna show you how to make bakes, and he's gonna show you how to make salted fish with the Paku that he just shot. He opened that whole fish up, made slices and cuts everywhere so that he can preserve it with salt. Now he's just gonna put salt in all the little crevices. Now what do you do with it? I'm gonna keep it for now here. So after they fillet them and then split them, take out all their gills and guts and whatnot, they season them up and put them on this native grill. They did something very similar with the peacock bass and I'm very interested to know which is better, the peacock bass, which they call Lucanani, or the Paku. Okay, so this is the bow that the boys at Bear set up for me. This bow is called a flat bow. It's flat on the leading edge, it's rounded on the back, and they hand make them. This is one of his arrows, but it's just a stick that they get out in the jungle. And now he's gonna make an arrow to show you how they use this bow to bow fish with. What is this? It's a glue it comes from the forest. It's called locally known as carmani. It glue the wire so that the wire cannot come out from the arrow shaft. And it just sticks in there, glues in there. Oh, you're cinching it down. So he's putting the carmony on the line, obviously to whip it on there so that it sticks and doesn't unravel. Everything that you see here, every part of this, they find and make, manufacture from stuff in the forest. That's 
It's amazing how incredibly straight it is. This goes here. And it's ready. Wow, man. So when this when you shoot the puck with this, it pops out. If it passes through, you know, yeah. It's a total breakaway. I, I've spearfished with stuff just like that. That is, I mean, quite similar to yours. I hope you guys are enjoying this because to me, being able to venture out into just the uttermost parts of the earth and hunt and fish and live with people like this, it's, it's just, it's priceless. It's priceless. It makes you appreciate what you have so much more. Okay, now we got to see you shoot like, oh, look at the little bait fish over there. Go shoot one. So while we were down cleaning the other one and salting it up, the boys finished cooking the Paku over the, over the grill, over the fire there. Now we're going to eat. Oh, you got to see this. You ain't going to believe this. Why wouldn't there be a... a... <laughs> I'm going to make sure it come cold. Yeah. Who doesn't have fresh squeezed lemonade in a glass vase or glass pitcher while on a remote fishing expedition? <laughs> Golly, man. Incredible. Come on, Jerry. Meat has a very firm feel to it. Every day that we've been on this trip, this is something very similar to what we'll have. This is called fire in a bottle. <laughs> it's extremely hot, but I've started... Ah. This horsefly has no respect for me trying to film a video here. If you put just a little bit on here, that's more than enough. 100%. That's the best fish we've had. That is really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Any fish that is in the piranha family, which Paku are, are going to have a lot of bones. So when you eat it, you just have to be careful. Mm. Hey Kenneth, hey. you can come eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta finish up. This guy right here is an absolute legend. And I know I gave him this bow on the river, but I wanted to formally tell you how special this bow is. Thank you. That bow was handmade for you. To me, one of my favorite things in the whole world is to give somebody something and to be able to give you that bow. On behalf of the Rio Eco Lodge, I just want to thank you for coming and for this trip. I hope you enjoy your trip with us and for the gift that you offered. We wow. really appreciate it. And um, we'll make good use of it. Hoping I should be a pickery. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that, man. I would love that. You guys, if you going up this river isn't for everybody. It, you don't just jump on the boat and go. This is a hardcore trip. You've got to be able to deal with bugs and the rain and cold water and not cold water, but cool water. You got to be, be able to deal with things. But if you're looking for a trip that is fully off the grid, insane, amazing, where you can catch some fish that just will blow your mind, look at the Rewa Eco Lodge. There will be links in the description below. You can get in touch with Kenneth, Rovin. Guyana is a special place. Don't worry about nothing. This is a special, special place. And I want to thank you for following this journey I call life. But that's all I got for today. Take care. God bless. And we gone.